Today we are going to be working on part three of our cybersecurity home lab. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Day and I talk about cybersecurity. So if you're new here, please uh, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when I drop new videos. So today we are going to be working on part three of our cybersecurity home lab. So for the first first part, we did the introduction. So like I kind of just showed you the walkthrough of what the project is going to be. And the second part was the was building the host PC for the home lab. So if you've not watched those videos, please, uh, I will leave a card up here so you can go ahead and watch the video. So like I said, today we're going to be doing part three, which is going to be configuring, installing and configuring um, our hypervisor, which is VMware. Before I get into it, I just want to like kind of highlight why we are using the virtualized environment for our home lab. So um, uh, for other, other home labs, you might be using like um, individual hardware comp components for uh, the, the machines you will be using. You could have like individual uh, switches, individual routers. And the good thing about that is that, you know, you can you, you see them physically but the thing, the, the downside about that is that with more of those hardware components, you're consuming more energy and then you are paying more in your electricity bill. Uh, compared to um, just using a centralized system, uh, like a server or like a, a, a dedicating a, a PC to it. So for example, our home lab, we're dedicating a, a PC to it. So that means we have everything on one system. So we're only consuming energy from just one device and you save more money, basically. Just to dig a little bit deeper into like hypervisors, uh, the hypervisor we're gonna be using is a hosted hypervisor, which means that we're essentially installing that hypervisor on an already running operating system. There are two types of hyper hypervisors. There's a type one, which is bare metal hypervisors, and type two, which is the hosted type of hypervisors. Bare metal hypervisors are, are essentially miniature operating systems that you Inst installed directly to like a server or a, a, a hardware device and then you can conf you can run and configure your virtual machines on them so you're essentially um, dedicating all the resources on that hardware device to your virtual machines compared to our home lab which is which is going to be using a hosted type of hypervisor we are going to be installing that hypervisor on an already um, running operating systems and then um, configuring our virtual machines on those hypervisors. So a, a good way I like to like explain hypervisors is homes, right? So for a bare metal hypervisor, it's essentially a single living unit, right? So where you have like just a single house where you live, you do um, your stuff, um, you work, uh, you school, uh, you wake up and you sleep, right? In just one house. Uh, compared to the hosted hypervisor, you can think of it as like an apartment complex, right? Uh, where you have like several apartment buildings or you have um, several living units, right? So inside that apartment complex, which is our hypervisor, we have individual living units, which are like other applications, including um, our virtual machines. So that's kind of like a way I like to like differentiate between hosted hypervisors and bare metal hypervisors. And I hope I did not confuse you with that. But that's basically um, all I have to say about virtualization of hypervisors. So with all of that said, let's dive into the computer. Um, dive. How do you dive? I don't know how to swim, so I wouldn't know. But yeah, so let's head over to the computer and start downloading and configuring virtual box. No, not virtual box. VMware. <laughs> All right, so we are going to be installing VMware now. So VMware.com. I also forgot, forgot to mention in the intro that we could also use um, virtual box. Virtual box is also a really good alternative and. I uh, will be doing labs in VirtualBox later on. Um, it's also it's also free, and this version of VMware VMware we're going to be using is also free. So, um, whichever one you, you choose. So here at VMware.com, we go over to products and then down to desk, desktop hypervisor, and then um, this is Workstation Pro, which is I believe you have to pay for, and then Fusion for Mac, which is for Macs, of course and workstation player which will you can use for windows or linux and it's free for personal use and our lab is personal use so workstation player and go over here to download now 
and then go to downloads and over here since we're using windows if you're using linux you're gonna download from here but we're using windows so download now and save file so it should be done a couple of seconds all right so open file and yes Okay, so next, accept, next, um, what's next, 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 install. So let's go ahead to install, shouldn't take too long. Okay, so it's installation is complete so finish so now that we have that installed it's over here on our um desktop so we're gonna open it click it open and we since we are using it for free this is what we're gonna check so continue finish and so this is what it looks like. This is what VMware Workstation 16 Player looks like. Hmm. Workstation Pro. So they want us to download Workstation Pro, which I cannot afford right now. So uh, remind me later. All right. So this is what VMware looks like. So we're going to head over to Player, and then File, and then Preferences. So not really much in this interface but we can change our theme to dark I definitely will prefer that dark welcome back guys so now that we have installed uh, VMware our next step is going to be installing our firewall which is pfSense so make sure you stay tuned for the next video thank you very much for watching this video um, please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when I drop new videos I'll see you in the next video